Our next Bible story is about Joseph the dreamer. Jacob lived in the land of Canaan. He had 12 sons. Joseph was one of his sons. Jacob loved Joseph more than all his other children. One day, Jacob gave Joseph a new coat. It was a beautiful coat. It had many colors. But it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wished they could have new coats too. They were very angry. Joseph also had a special dream. He told his brothers about it. We were gathering grain in my dream. My grain stood up. Your grain bowed down to my grain. Joseph had another dream. He said, the sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowed down to me. His brothers did not like his dreams. They were very jealous. They wanted to get rid of Joseph, so they sold him to some traders who were traveling to faraway lands. The traders took Joseph far away to Egypt, but God was still watching over Joseph. Joseph had a hard time in Egypt. Even though he was good, they put Joseph in jail. But God was with Joseph. The jailer liked Joseph, and he let Joseph take care of the other prisoners. One of the prisoners was a butler. Before he was in jail, the butler's job was to bring the king of Egypt something to drink. One night, the butler had a dream. He dreamed he was taking a drink to the king. The butler told Joseph his dream. Joseph said, that means you will soon be out of jail. You will get to do your job again. The butler did get out of jail. Joseph asked the butler to remember him. He wanted the butler to help him get out of jail too. But the butler forgot. One night, the king had a dream. He dreamed that seven fat, juicy ears of corn were growing on one stalk. Then seven thin ears of corn grew up, and they swallowed the fat, juicy corn. The king had another dream. He dreamed that there were seven fat cows, but then seven thin cows gobbled them all up. The dreams made the king worry. He asked his wise men what the dreams meant, but they did not know. Then the butler remembered Joseph. He told the king about Joseph, so the king sent for Joseph. Joseph told him, Your dreams mean Egypt will have seven good years, there will be plenty of food to eat, but then there will be seven bad years where no food will grow. The king could tell that Joseph was wise, so he made Joseph a leader in Egypt. Joseph helped the people of Egypt save their food for seven good years. Then, when the bad years came and no food grew, the people ate the food they had saved. No food grew in Canaan, where Joseph's family lived. But they heard there was food in Egypt, so his brothers went to Egypt to get food. They did not know they would have to buy it from their brother Joseph. The brothers bowed to Joseph. They didn't know he was their brother, but he knew who they were. Still, he did not tell them he was Joseph. They asked him for food, and he sold some to them. The brothers went back home, but it wasn't long until they needed more food, and they had to go back to Joseph in Egypt again. They bowed down to him. This time, Joseph told them he was their brother. What Joseph had dreamed had really happened. Now his brothers were afraid of him, because they had been mean to Joseph. But Joseph said, Don't be afraid. God meant it for good. He kissed all his brothers. They went home and told their father that Joseph was all right. Then their whole family moved to Egypt to be near Joseph.